Hello everyone, and welcome back to another episode of John's Rockin' Vinyl 77. Um, I hope you guys are all uh, doing well. Um, it's been a little while, so I thought I'd make kind of an in-between video between uh, my next psych update, so that should be pretty soon. I'm just going to go through some of my, uh, some of my more rare, kind of more bizarre 45s in my collection. Um, I have quite a few that are kind of unique and stuff. I have some garage, some surf rock stuff that I'm going to show, and some hard rock, you know, type stuff. Some more bizarre stuff, some more common stuff, but uh, I think you guys will like it. Um, I think you guys will be interested in what I show. So, anyway, I'm going to start off with uh, with this. Um, and if you want to see more of this type stuff. Years ago, I made a response to uh, Earhead 66's uh, contest, and it was like, show your psych records and and um, garage records or whatever, and you'll find a lot of this stuff that I'm showing, or some of this type of stuff that I'm showing right now in that video with a little more detail and some more, uh, let's say, like, like um, some like examples so you can hear uh, kind of what the sound is but anyway this is one of the ones that I did show in that video um, so, and I, I was just gonna elaborate a little bit more of what I've you know found out about this group um, this is the trolls every day and every night and um, are you the one I think are you the one is the a side and the, the B side is I might be wrong on that though. No, I'm, um, every day and every night appears to be the uh, A side. Yeah, but every day and every night is a great uh, kind of uh, garage kind of rock song. And uh, I learned that this is the the, the same band that eventually uh, released an album as uh, simply the Troll. They uh, dropped the S and. Um, they uh, became the troll and they made one album in 1968 called Animated Music and it's really uh, bizarre um, to say the least. It's, I think uh, if you haven't heard that, check that out, but uh, the single is really nice. Uh, my copy isn't in great shape, so I do have a clip on my other video, like I said, that I show an example of what it kind of sounds like, but this is a cool 45. Um, on ABC. It's in pretty rough shape. I mean, you can tell by the label, basically. So, just to, I thought I'd uh, elaborate and kind of, kind of uh, talk about uh, what that forty-five was about and kind of what I've learned. This is, uh, and of course, like I said, there's going to be common stuff in here. And stuff that I, you know, feel like is garage or whatever, you know, so. Um, here's a classic. Um, the Yardbirds over under sideways down. And then uh, the opposite side is Jeff's Boogie. So, yeah. This is in pretty decent shape. It, it's probably uh, VG Plus condition, you know. Um, it has a radio station or something like stuff on it. I bought a lot of these years ago and a lot of radio station uh, 45 singles and stuff. It's just a great track. And uh, this is one I picked up recently. It's kind of a stock promo copy of uh, Manfred Mann's My Little Red Book. This version of the song isn't really as punk as like the version that uh, Love would do, because it's kind of it's kind of a little more tame. But uh, the other side's kind of a cool, kind of a dance track. What am I doing wrong? Has a, but it's kind of stock copy because it's in really nice condition. Other than the label on this side, it's like probably excellent or near mint almost. But this side, look at that label, just really nice. I never see old labels like that from the, you know, mid-60s in that kind of condition. So, uh, that was a cool find, and it's a promo, so, white label promo on Ascot. 
and uh, there's really not much of an order to this. I mean, I'm kind of going all over the place. This is um, kind of a, I don't know what you would call it, like a rock song, early early rock. Um, got our Richie Valens, La Bamba. Um, and then the reverse is Donna. This isn't the first issue, I don't think, because it does have the new Delphonic Fidelity. So I think this is a later pressing, I believe. Probably not much later, but it's in nice condition. It's in like VG Plus condition. It plays well. Not a lot of noise. I just thought that would be something interesting to show. There's some kind of surf rock stuff here. Um, the Rivieras with a California Sun. And then uh, side two is HB Goose Step. Kind of a decent double sider. Uh, California Sun was, of course, the hit. Their one really big hit. It's on Riviera, um, distributed by uh, USA Records. This is really cool. I like the label on this too. And again, it's hard to find these old 45s without writing all over them. And this one certainly has some writing on it. Yeah. So. Just a cool single. And this is kind of a, your instrumental guitar music, like kind of your venture stuff. And um, it's actually quite quite rare, 45. If it, if it was in better shape, it'd be worth a little more. But uh, we have uh, the guitar boogie shuffle by the Virtues, and then uh, this side is a uh, uh, guitar in orbit, also by the Virtues. It's on um, Hunt, so it's um, again, it's kind of that. Uh, guitar instrumental type stuff um definitely uh worth checking out if you're into that kind of music i like it fine just uh one of those records i found years ago and when i bought a i've been buying 45s you know cheap for a long time so whenever i get them cheap i always pick them up i usually like to buy them in like bulks you know so I have a lot of them to go through. It's fun to do that, go through a stack of 45s and find stuff you like. But uh, again, here's another really rare 45. It's, but it's just in really bad conditions. Um, a group called the Four Speeds, and this is RPM. Um, this is like kind of a surf rock tune. I would say kind of your... Uh, Jan and Dean style stuff. You know, that surfer or, uh, I guess more like car, the car rock stuff. I don't know what it's called. It's just, it's just fun music, like early garage, you know. Uh, check it out. Pretty cool. Interesting. And then the other side is, um, uh, My Stingray and, uh, Unfortunately, the label on the reverse side is a little messed up. And when I say a little messed up, I mean a lot messed up. But, uh, yeah. I mean, the 45 is in terrible condition, but I mean, it's still, you know, a cool 45. I, I w wouldn't be able to even play it on my turntable, it's so bad. <laughs> so, I did listen to it. Though. Back in the day when I had a cheap turntable, I would uh, listen to these. Not not really knowing, you know, that it could damage my uh, record player, you know. But um, this is a cool 45, kind of a, a dance R&B kind of number. Um, well, it, it's an instrumental piece. It's kind of a dance number, you know, from the early 60s or maybe mid-60s, I guess. Um, it's, a, it's a track called uh, That's Boss from the group Ray Myers and the Shades. This is just a really interesting 45. I've never seen another copy of this. There's nothing online about this group. Um, I think I saw I saw like one picture or something, and that's it. And there's no uh, um, 
there's no examples on YouTube or anything. There's no like previews or anything. So this is kind of a unique 45, and it's on a a record label right out of Nashville, Tennessee, called a Gold Standard, and it just has this really cool gold label. So this is rare. <laughs> if I had, I guess that this is probably one of the rarest 45s I own right now. Um, Ray Myers in the shades. And then this is the other side. This is more of a kind of more garagey, more. It does have horn and stuff going on, but it got my mojo working. It's kind of a faster, upbeat uh, song. It's another dancer type track. This is a, you know, a good 45. Really good single, so. I don't know how rare this is. I've never seen another one. I've looked everywhere trying to see what it's worth, the value. It's nowhere. I can't find it anywhere. So, if you know anything about this record, I uh, would like to know or like to get some more information about that. And up next, uh, it's just a classic uh, single that a lot of people say is the first psychedelic rock song of all time. Um, the Birds, Eight Miles High on uh, Columbia. This is an original and the other side is a uh, Y by the Birds and it has some DJ writing or something on there. Number 49. So, that's kind of cool. And it's a great single, so. This next one, I'm going to let you guys uh, hear it. Um, it's the Castaways Liar Liar. This is another one of those kind of stock copies I picked up. It's a little bit on the rougher side, probably excellent condition, maybe VG Plus. But um, it has like these two X, like blue X's on it for some reason. Uh, I'm not sure what that means. And it's an audition uh, copy, not for sale, white label promo. And the other side is a track called Sam by the Castaways. Um, and the label's a bit off. It's kind of running off into the groove. Uh, so, But uh, I'm definitely going to show you guys uh, what Liar Liar sounds like, the A side. It's really cool uh, early uh, garage. Next, we have a, a group called Charade, I believe is what how you say it, Charade. And, and this is a track called And You Do. And then the reverse side is uh, Somebody's Watching You. They only released this one single, as far as I know, because I looked everywhere and this is the only one. I would show you like what this sounds like, but there's there's at least one you know version of this on uh, on YouTube, so... Check it out, it's kind of melodic, um, garage rock maybe, like very loosely from 68 on a, from Epic Records, so kind of a, a weird 45 on a major label on, by a really obscure group. Um, up next, this is a cool one that everybody knows, Frigid Pink House of the Rise of the Sun on Parrot. Um, and then uh, the other track is uh, Driving Blues. Just a phenomenal um, track. I like Driving Blues probably more than I like their version of House of the Rising Sun. So. Uh, really good 45. This is uh, worth anyone checking out. and get the, get the album too. It's really good. 
Up next, this is a group, I believe, out of Texas. Uh, a group called... A group called uh, The Rugby's. This is a track called UI. This is a promotional copy. And, uh... It's just a promotional copy. And, um... It's got uh, the A side on both sides, so... And it's not in great condition. So, it's a little rough, but, you know, it's still a cool single, and I have the, the album, too, and I, I just can't find a really nice copy of it. It's kind of rare to find, so I never see it anywhere, anyway, so. That's a cool track, kind of fuzz, rock, hard rock stuff. Um, here's another band everybody knows, Blue Cheer, um, Summertime Blues is the A side, and then Out of Focus is just a monstrous do me almost uh b side just killer killer album too uh definitely worth checking out if you're uh, not familiar with this 45 and this is in really nice shape it's like excellent vg plus maybe i'd say excellent yeah out of focus too it's just fantastic track and then uh, last but not least, this is another one I'm going to let you guys hear. Um, Living in is Easy by the Dream Police. Um, this is a really cool uh, track. And the, the other side isn't quite as good. It's more like a ballad type song. But this is a nice um, hard rocker from, uh, I believe, 1969, 1970, around that era. On uh, Parrot Records. And this is a 145. This is it. This is all they did. And it's phenomenal. Check it out. Anyway, um, that's about it for right now, so uh, until my uh, next psych video. Oh, I just wanted to thank everybody for uh, watching and subscribing and and uh, commenting and uh, just talking about this great music. And I'll be back pretty soon with a, with a psych update, so um, see you guys next time. Bye.